Hey everybody, Tech May here, and today I wanted to talk about something, a toolkit, whatever, um, that somebody asked me about on my latest video with Tech's Talking Shop, my toolbox tour. So, I have this little blue point kit, bought it from the Snap-on Man um, a long time ago, a couple years, well, probably two years, not, so not that long, but two years. Um, it's like a hundred bucks, and on the inside, it's like a, just a little kit little quarter inch um it goes blue point sockets four to 13 no skips um it comes with a ratchet and a, like a bit holder this thing's super nice it's pretty low profile um reverse direction you have have the push button to hold the bit in so it comes with that an extension and then it comes with all these bits. So I don't know if you can see those. Um, I will read them to you. It's um, a flathead, a 530 seconds, a 730 seconds, a 930 seconds. Then it's got a number one and the number two Phillips. Um, it's got a T15, T20, T25, uh, an Allen. I think it's an Allen. An eighth, or 530 seconds, a 316. And then a, a square... S1 and S2. I've never used those two, so I don't know what they are. But I love this kit. I, when I was at the dealership in the auto world, I would use this for tire sensors. Um, that way you don't have to take the whole bead off um, or valve stems, either, either one really. Tire sensors and valve stems, you know, you just pop the bead um, relatively close and then kind of scoot it over and get it, you know. Uh, you got the arm of the machine in there, and you got a little bit of room. You can get the, uh, I think it was a T10, so I had to get a bit out of a different one. And you can put it in this bit holder, and you can get it in there and get it out. Cause, yeah, they shouldn't be too tight. Um, I use this on blower motors on cruises. Uh, those are known to go out, or we would get them all the time. I don't know which one, but, uh, and, you know, being under underneath a dash like that sucks. Um, eventually I learned to take the, the glove box out and made it easier. But the first couple times, you know, you knew and you don't know what you're doing. You're just kind of like, damn, this sucks. Um, now I use this to take chargers apart. Um, so I love this tool, um, the set, I should say. I do wish, like I said, it had like a T10 in it. Um, cause I did use that one a lot, but how many bit sets do you, you guys have? Cause I have a bunch of them. So I have a quarter inch bag set up, uh, which if you guys would like to see that, let me know. I can show you what's in my quarter inch bag. Um, so I have this and then I have all my little, my little trays of bits in there too. Um, so I think this is awesome. It's low profile. It is blue point. Um, I don't think Snap-on makes one. They might. Um, like I said, I purchased this for like a hundred bucks. We got a new dealer and when the new dealer came around, he actually had it on sale. Oh, don't mind that uh for like 60 or 70 dollars and i was like oh dang um but it's okay i use the crap out of this i think i've gotten my money's worth um i will try to find a part number for you guys because there's not one anywhere on this box but it comes in a nice case um a nice bowl mold i don't know if i can even get this out yeah see it doesn't go all the way through so i mean if you just wanted to put this in your box you could but i have it on my van so but this kit's nice because if you kind of know the job you're doing you kind of know what you need so if everything is in here that you need there you go fits in your pocket and um it's good so i've never had problems with this like i said i'll try to find a part number online um if not maybe i'll ask my snap on guy and he can tell me but if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe um if there's anything outside of my toolbox you would like to see please let me know i will absolutely share it all with you guys um so Yes, my blue point quarter inch set. I hope you guys have a good weekend. I hope you have a great day. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.